Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. Now that you've got your TV box, uh, the MXQ from XBMCExtreme.com all set up on your TV set, uh, you'll turn it on. Uh, you've got your HDMI cable hooked up. Um, this is what you'll see on the screen as it opens up. The first thing you want to do is take your remote control that comes with the box, or you can use the keyboard remote, it doesn't matter which, and go down um, using the arrow keys and just select um, your settings because you want to set up your Wi-Fi and your or your Ethernet. So put it on settings, click uh, the OK button. Uh, the settings will come up and you'll see that uh, I've already got Ethernet uh, selected already and my IP address is showing there so that's already hooked up. If you wanted Wi-Fi you would just simply uh, choose the Wi-Fi, select uh, OK. Um, then it'll list all the Wi-Fi access points that are available um, within range and then you'd pick the one you want say for instance this would be mine here um, I've already hooked it up once before so it's remembered it but if you wanted to uh, put a new one in you would just hit the OK button and then the box would come over where you could input your password and then go down and hit the connect now button and that's really all you need to do, uh, need to do. so uh, we'll go back here now to the uh, Ethernet connection if you have a chance to get an Ethernet connection, uh, it's better to use that than the Wi-Fi. I find it a lot faster, uh, but if you have a good Wi-Fi, it'll work pretty darn good. So uh, we'll just let that reconnect. Um, and now what we want to do is uh, go to the display uh, button and go down to set your uh, display position, which should be about 95% already set up. If you find that your screen is too big or too small, you can adjust that using the arrow keys. Uh, I set it up for my well, I think it's a 42 inch here, or 50 inch, so um, that'll do that. So now you can go back up again and uh, hit the backspace button or, or the arrow key to return your screen back to the beginning. Uh, and then to launch uh, Kodi, go down and pick up the uh, blue and white icon with the K, click OK. Kodi will launch, um, and then we'll have our programs all set up in here. Right now it opens up on music. You can use the arrow keys. Um, you can just hit remind me later on that. You can go to the arrow keys uh, to videos um, and then you have your different add-ons here. So for instance we're going to do a um, Genesis video. Um, click on Genesis. Click on movies. Click on most popular if you want. Uh, it's just working for a minute to fill out the list. Uh, okay, then choose your movie. For instance, if you wanted to watch the X-Men, uh, go over there, click OK. Now it's working and it'll uh, come up with a list of uh, feeds or servers that are available that have this movie in various forms of HD, HQ, or MQ. Um, just loading up the list of uh, available servers. Once that's done, um, I usually just go down and pick one that I'm, I'm familiar with. Uh, this one usually works pretty good. What you'll find is once you've determined which ones work the best for you, if you want high def or if you want to go down and play in the high quality, these are all high def ones. You can scroll down until you come to HQ and you can find a server in there. Sometimes I use Move Real for Rice Films. Now HQ would probably be in 720, uh, not 1080p. So. Give her a second, and there we go. So now I got that all started, and that's all you need to know. If you want to turn it off, you can just put it on controls, come up, hit OK, or stop. And that's it. Thank you.